all gorgeous people welcome back to all of you once again this is part 2 of scope application so we'll have all these use cases so we have a table called station it has more than one fields number arriving time departure time station name station order so here the first point is whenever we create or update station records and order changes then from and to fill should be automatically populated by first stations and last station. So let's see how I have achieved this. So here you could see I have written a business rule in this station table. I will show you. That is update stations order. Let's open that. So all we have to do here is that. See friends, again, all this record are the child record of this transporter bus transporter table so there is a field here i forgot to mention transporter which is basically referring to this parent record right and whenever we create or update any record then based on the station's order this from and to should be auto populate like you could see here this uh, record which has station order value 1 and here we have a last record which has a station order value 5 so this record first record will be referred by this from field and last record of the station table will be referred by to field right for that, I have taken a parent sys id. So this field transporter into this variable transporter. And friend here, I am using a const. Const means once the variable assigned to this, once the value assigned to this variable, we can't change. And because we have only one transporter uh, here for all these records. So that's why I use const here. This is available in ES6 versions only. If you are doing in the global scope, it will not work. And here I have created stations using this let scope access specifier. And type is an array. It will store sorted record based on station only. And friend, one by one, okay. Uh, when I am running this business rule, after insert or update, okay. And if the station order changes, then I will fetch all the records in a sorted way like based on the station order 
I will fetch one by one each station record. That's why I have used here order by. Okay, and is a filter transporter. Uh, this transporter is nothing but a sys ID, which will store here. And one by one, I will store all the sys ID into this array. Okay, and here I will check if the length stations dot length is greater than or equal to two. Means we are creating a station record. If there are more than or equal to two records, then only this from and to should populate. So here you could see from this stations array. Basically, in JavaScript, everything is an object. Okay, array is also an object. That's why here the concept in ES6 called there was a concept in ES6 called destructuring. Okay, so zero means first index. Means station, this array, whatever the value which is available in the first index, that will be stored into this variable first, and whatever the value which is available in the last index of this array, which is stored in last, this variable. Okay. Again, I am doing a glide record to fetch the transporter. To update the first and last, to update the from and to field. So here we already have a sys ID stored to this variable transporter. So using the transporter table, I am using the glide record. I am doing the glide record. Sorry. So if we will found the record transporter. Okay, if you found the parent, then we are setting the value from with first stations and to with last stations, and then we are updating. Okay, that's it. So I will tell you. Let's go here and see. I just want to update this five by four, and when I will update the station order for this five will be four, and for station order for this uh, seat four will be five. Okay, basically should be station, but it's okay. Okay, we will change later. So. By mistake, I written seat seat. Okay, should be station one, station two, station three, station four. Okay, so here I am updating five to four. See, it is updated. Uh, but you could see now the four. Becomes five. That's why this two is referring to the last. And because from already referring to the first station, that's why this field from didn't change. Okay, so let's. Go to the second use case. See, while adding or updating a new station record, if the station order matches with previous station records, if the station order matches with previous station records, station order value, then the records which orders are greater than the match record. The match record should be incremented here, order by one. Yeah, it's it is it was little bit tricky. Okay, I will tell you. C 
see uh let's suppose i am updating this third station by 2 then this 3 will become 2 but this 2 will become 3 and others like this record and this record which is 4 and 5 will become 4 and 5 because it is already in 4 and 5 if I will change this uh, 3 to 2 okay then 2 will become 3 and 3 will become 2 So how I am doing that? Uh, one the business rule. and it is running before insert or update when station order changes. Okay, uh, let's open. In a big size so that you can it can be visible for you and friend here you could see if the current if the station order is changing right and if it is same as previous and it will not do anything if not then we will take the parent record sys id because there is a field called transporter which is referring to the parent record transporter okay so sys id of the parent record will be stored into this variable transporter and here i am checking whatever the record i am updating or if the new record is inserting i am checking that the value i have taken right uh, if I have taken the same value which has already occupied by previous records and based on this function occupied stations here I am passing the current station order okay so if already occupied then what it does what it will do it just update itself it just update the current record itself by the match record or station order like here you could see I've taken the match record order and that order we are setting to the we are updating to the current record if the condition match and then after we are converting string into integer so we are converting the current order into the integer and so I think to remove this And again, I am written a glide record uh, for this table only because we have to update all these records. Okay. Uh, but may uh, here you have noticed that this line station dot set workflow false means the business rule will not work while doing all this operation okay while doing this glide record operation that's it so we will get the transporter sys id will store into this variable and if station order is greater than or equal to the order the records which has order greater than records which have uh, this order 
which is greater than or equal to the current record order then only update the station order by adding one okay and here i am station i am doing here i'm doing here means like uh, basically try to get the value in the ascending order that's why i'm i have written here station dot order by okay so here the sum will be the previous station order plus one and this function pass int will basically use to convert string into array okay and this is how i am updating the match records which have the same value or greater than the current record order all that records will be updated and for that uh, records business rules should not be executed okay that's why i have written this line okay so this was the second choose case and the last once the station record created then the based on the lowest order all the records station order values will be incremented okay uh means once the record created or updated based on the lowest first a lowest uh, station order value we have to update rest of the records okay rest of the records for that the same business rule which is for to update this from and to field i have used here and it is executing after insert or update so in this uh, first variable the first session this id will be stored but uh, because uh, in the transporter record from is referring to the first order record station record so in this case i have taken this from field set record and the station order of that uh, station record i'm passing to this arrange station order function so because this is the first so increment start parse in time converting that station order into again number so one by one i will do the glide record and again i am doing set walk to false means business rule will not execute uh, for this glide record operations so same here i am using order by to get the data in ascending order one by one and here the transporter is nothing but the 
एक्सपेक्टेशन पेरेंट रिकॉर्ड बेसिक स्टेशन पेरेंट रिकॉर्ड सॉरी बिकॉज The station record has this field transporter, which is referring to the transporter record. That's it. And this increment start will be increment uh, one by one. Okay. The first order will be update, and the second order will be update, and the third order will be update. one by one and again and again i am incrementing this a uh, variable by adding plus one that's it so hope uh my idea was helpful and it would be better if you will practice along with me after listening up after watching the idea which i have shown to you so friend thank you for watching let's see in the next video sis